Hello, my name is Felipe Ardes and I'm a medical oncologist. In this video, we're going to talk about breast cancer screening. So first, let's start with the concept of screening. Screening means doing tests in people that do not feel anything. The idea is to detect a disease before it becomes clinically significant. So we know that in breast cancer, detecting the disease before it becomes clinically, clinically relevant uh, increases the chance of cure and most probably decreases the, the need for uh, aggressive treatment. So we have a better results of the treatment with less treatment. So let's talk, let's talk about uh, a bit with the slides. So this is a mammogram. So this is the machine that does breast imaging that are able to detect um, breast nodules or breast microcalcifications. That is the two presentations of breast cancer. So this is the, the nodule that can be detected by mammogram. And this exam can be complemented if needed, if you have any doubt with the image, with a breast ultrasound. Breast ultrasound are not uh, extremely necessary in all cases. This is a case by case uh, need. So if you have doubts in the mammogram, then you do a breast ultrasound. Sometimes when you have doubts, you can do, still have doubts, you can do other kinds of tests like an MRI, which give you us images like this. But we know the MRIs are completely exception. We don't use MRI very often. We use MRI to evaluate diseases that are not completely understood by other imaging tests or to do uh, screening in patients that are very young and uh, mammograms do not work very well among this population. So let's talk a bit um, about who needs and to do uh, screening and when you should start screening. So the logic of screening is very different from the logic of uh, individual health, right? So when you propose a screening test, you're not proposing to that specific person, you're proposing to a population. So the test has to be able to detect cancer in more people than, than it do harm. So which, which harm can be done by a test? Uh, excessive diagnostics. So suppose that you don't have a breast cancer and the test say you have a breast cancer. So this is doing harm to you because you have to do... There's a stress uh, uh, related to this diagnosis and you have to do all the things to detect that you do not have breast cancer. So this is the possible uh, bad effect of screening. And the, and the good effect of screening is detecting a disease that can be cured with uh, less treatment, increase the chance of cure using less treatment, right? So when you select populations for screening, one of the most important things is the risk of this population to develop cancer. So uh, we know that the older the women, the higher is the chance of developing cancer. So it makes sense to do tests uh, from an age where the incidence, the new cases start to increase. So let's, let's, let me give you a, a, an example, an extreme example. So let's put that I will do breast cancer screening in 10 years old girls. How many of these tests will be positive? Zero probably. But there will be one or another that you'll be confused and you'll say it's a breast cancer and you'll you do a mistake there. So, and if you, so it does not make sense to do in very young women. So there is an age that it could start to increase and the tests start to make more positive results, more positive results to the population than negative results, when false positives. And depending on the country you are and depending on the population you are checking, this age changes a little bit. So for countries in Europe and the United States, uh, these ages, the recommended age to start screening is 50 years old. For a more mixed population, like a uh, population here in Brazil, we think that uh, the ideal age is 40 years old. Because we have a mixed population, and you know that in, in population that have African ancestry, breast cancer can be an early uh, age. So most of the guidelines will say 50, 50 years for sure, and between 40 and 50, we have to discuss. Depends a bit on the risk and a bit how the patient feels about the, doing the screening in that age. 
So this is a, there's a bit of controversy, but from 50 years on, there's no doubt about doing breast cancer screening. We know that uh, breast cancer screening is able to reduce breast cancer deaths by 20 to 30 percent, which is a in, it's an amazing reduction of uh, deaths. You imagine if they 10 women with uh, breast cancer, three will be saved because the diagnosis diagnostic was made when the cancer was small. So a simple test, cheap test, can save three lives. So it's super important to do breast cancer screening. Uh, and we talk, when we talk about this, there are always a lot of doubts to say, well, well there are breast cancer in women that are 35 or 30 years old. Yes, it's true. But if I do uh, mammograms in all women with 30 years old, the exam will be make more mistakes than uh, correct diagnosis. So for these women that are under 40 years old, we do recommend uh, examination. So you have to do the, the self-exam and the exam with your gynecologist. And if you have less than 40 years old, and for a reason, you need to do a screening. For instance, you have a deleterious mutation. You have a, your mother had breast cancer when she was 45, and recommended age is 35 to start. Then we will do with all the tests. Most probably MRI, but uh, ultrasound is also a good test for screening under the age of 40. This is very individualized, and the decisions between each doctor and each um, patient.